I'm Sky McAlpine. Growing up in Venice, I can't imagine being in the city without a kitchen, without cooking. But so if you are here, even for a few days, and you can get access to a kitchen, really, really recommend that you take advantage of the amazing produce that we have here. A lot of it local from the surrounding islands, and you can buy it at the Rialto or at many of the fruit barges around the city. So today we're going to put together a very simple menu using fresh ingredients. We're going to do porcini and funghi in cartoccio, so lightly sliced and in paper and baked in the oven. We're going to do a branzino, a sea bass, al sale as they call it, salt baked, very simple and a very spectacular dish. And then a lovely zabaione cream with a focaccia alla veneziana and roasted plums. So we're going to start with the mushrooms. First of all, we're going to wash them. You can see how fresh they are by all this kind of earth that's still on them. They literally dug out of the earth probably this morning. And we're going to start by chopping the mushrooms. Just very roughly kind of slicing them in half or in quarters. You want quite big chunks because they'll cook right down and shrink. Um, so we're using a mix of mushrooms. It was really just what we found at the market this morning. Uh, porcini, because at this time of year, they're everywhere and they're delicious. You, you want to take advantage of the porcini season. And finferli, which is what they call these gorgeous little golden coloured mushrooms. That I think I love mostly for the colour and this kind of frivolous shape that they have. But they taste good too. So now we're going to dress our mushrooms now that they're all chopped. I'm going to add a big, generous glug of olive oil. Not too much, because you don't want the mushrooms to be heavy and oily. You want them light and flavoursome, but a bit to give them a bit of flavour. So then I just toss it all together with my hands. I like to add a little bit of garlic, just a couple, one or two, depending on how brave you're feeling. One or two whole cloves, just lightly crushed. And then we've got salt, olive oil, and then a few herbs. I'm gonna do rosemary today, just because I love rosemary. I think it's very nice with the mushrooms, very autumnal, kind of crisp. But you could use thyme, you could use parsley, um, any herb you like, really. Just a few whole sprigs to add a bit of flavor. Just toss it all together in a bowl and let it sit for 10 minutes or so. When you're ready to cook the mushrooms, you just tear off a few sheets of greaseproof paper and then just heap up a little heap of mushrooms. Would you like to put, like, say, one sprig of rosemary in each bundle and then fold them shut? There's no science to this, or <laughs> well, not one that I've discovered anyway. Just fold the corners to close it much like wrapping a little parcel. Then put in a very hot oven for 15 minutes, and that's it. Oh, they smell sensational. Oh, that rosemary, heaven, can't help. I'm just gonna open one and see how they're doing. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, look at those theme fairly. Such beautiful earthy colour. Mm. To try one. Delicious. Mm. So good.